One of the many science fiction readers that count themselves fans of Clifford D. Simak, some are surprised to learn that he wrote a number of stories that were published in other genres, specifically Westerns and World War II air combat stories. Part of the reason for that, of course, can be found in the length of the author's writing career. The last of those non-science fiction stories was published more than 63 years ago, and Cliff's career continued, limited by choice to science fiction only, for 34 years after the last Western was published. It is important to note that while in the time since this series of collections was announced, I have seen a number of expressions of surprise about the Westerns, no one seems to have commented about the Air War stories, but then they are far less interesting and far shorter than the Westerns, and so I'll limit this essay to the Westerns. It is true that at one time Cliff Simak told a bibliographer that there had been just one time in his career when he had written strictly for money. The market for science fiction had been slow, he said, so he went out and bought a bunch of westerns. Then I simply spent the weekend reading them. Monday morning, I began writing. At this point, I feel compelled to point out that the quoted comment was actually more about writing for money than about writing Western stories. The reader should not take this to mean that Cliff never wrote Westerns until the time to which he was referring. In fact, his journals show that he actually wrote a few Westerns as far back as the earliest years of his career. In those comments to the bibliographer, Cliff spoke of the Westerns market as he found it at that time. They all had cowboys as heroes, and I thought there were other people out west than cowboys and Indians, so I wrote about doctors and lawyers and other folk. But I stopped writing westerns after a year. I had things to say that could not be expressed within the formula of the western. Cliff did not stop writing westerns after a year. His journals make it clear that he was selling westerns during the course of at least three years. The market for westerns appears to have boomed during World War II. I suspect at least in part due to the need to provide entertainment for all the men in the armed forces. And the money was pretty good. But keep in mind that all of this took place more than 30 years before his comments to his bibliographer. And it seems clear that Cliff did not particularly enjoy doing them. So it would not be surprising if the details had gotten fuzzy in his mind. Even today, however, it is unclear exactly how many westerns Cliff might have written. His journals, which he either kept on a sporadic basis, skipped for years at a time, or lost, seem to indicate that he wrote 21 westerns, three in the early 1930s at the very beginning of his career, and the rest during the period between late 1943 and early 1947. It appears that at least one Simak western, Gunsmoke Interlude, was published as late as 1952, but it's not clear just when it was actually written or sold to a publisher. Aside from the lack of complete documentation in Cliff's journal,